Hi there everybody, Knott's Borbat here. Welcome back to Stonewood again. So today we're going to go over B amplifier, which is nicely right down here below me. And we're going to go over the east side. I do not get a south spawn in here because I have placed D over here in the middle. Sorry, I didn't open my map up. But anyways, so we're going to go over this one. So yesterday we went over the home base. So now we're going to go over this one. So we'll go start out by spawn. So spawn will be down in here. And I do believe the odd little bit underneath there. And even some over there. A little bit up here. And I think we get the odd one up top here. And they're going to run around everywhere. And they're going to head on in down to our amplifier here. Now if you watched some of my update videos for this, because yes I posted update videos before I actually uh, <laughs> put these ones out, but that's okay, uh, you'll kind of have an idea of what's going on with this tunnel, a little bit anyway, so at least this part here. So we're going to go over something I forgot yesterday too. So the home base is over here. Now lobbers, flingers, etc. like to go the long way. So they actually will come over here, and this is the natural ramp right here. Let's go stop here and show you. Right beside this nice block here, your nice wooden tower is supposed to be here, which I don't have anymore. And there's this ramp here. So I got this ramp blocked off. Three walls, cone, floor underneath. And I have a wall dynamo here, but also on back side of this wall dynamo I have one of these bad boys right here with extra building health on it just to deter them from going that way which would be uh, this one here so I have one of these on the back side just for some increased building health and this wall dynamo would have healing because I noticed blasters and stuff like to really beat on this they must want to come up here and try to get at me because I stand up there in my FK spot so I can imagine that's what they're trying to do and this seems to have solved the problem pretty good I put a tire trap and I put a freeze trap as well and then you could put a wall dart here instead and that would also help so anyways let's get started here so our home base comes up to this corner here Nice and straight across, one tile back here from this ramp. And over here, we are two tiles back from this big giant pillar here. So I started two tiles back and I just made a wall. And this wall actually will go all the way down to this ramp here, double wide ramp that goes up. Two tiles high, all the way across. Then we have some cones here, ramps I guess, and then a little bit of the floors for a ceiling. Now, you saw in my update video I had to put these here. That's because we will have a flinger that will stand here and throw right on this edge. And I think he might actually throw himself off down there eventually, but he does throw from up here. They can they can throw from up here. So when you get this spawn that comes here, because you, you get an upper spawn right here, I believe it is, and then they'll walk up here and come over here and start throwing. Or if it's anybody else, they'll just jump on down there and carry on. So I just put six ramps like this so you can't see the light. Right there, the light of the amplifier. Generally, I was always told as a rule of thumb, if you can see that light, they can throw. And that, that's from the tiles out, of course. I think it's nine tiles out, I believe. All right, so then we have our wall dynamo here. We got some extra building health wall spikes here. I should find a regular wall just to make sure. Yeah, oh, maybe not. These might be just healing. Sorry, I apologize. They're 2450, I see, which a regular wall is 2450. Oh. 
Well, I thought I had extra building health on these. Oh yeah, here we go. See, here's extra building health. 2867. So you get 417 extra health. Is that what it is? Yeah, something like that. 417 extra wall health if you have extra building health. So this probably doesn't have anything on the backside. Now it's going to make me go look, but I'll try to look there. Uh, just give me a sec here. Sorry. Ah, yes. Could be the uh, floor here that has it. Or there's a zapper under here, maybe? There's probably a zapper under there. Because a floor is... Yeah, there'll be just a zapper under there in case they do break through. Yep. We could put one of these here, you know. Why don't we do that? And we'll get rid of this while we're crafting. Can we get it on there? Come on! Oops, I wasn't really supposed to do that. <sighs> That's okay. So we'll put some extra building health here. Put our floor back. Now that I accidentally did a boo-boo. Which I wasn't supposed to. We'll put an increased building health floor spike on there and call it good. We're going to put one of these on there. Unless I can get down here. Can I get down here? Come on, Lynx! Nope. Unless I gotta open this side. Can we get down there? No! Such a disappointment. Alright, well, that's enough of that anyhow. A guy could break this and put it from the sound wall. Actually, we're gonna do that. Just because. If you're gonna do it, you do it right. So we're going to use a ceiling zapper here. Energy, damage, reload, crit rating, reload, and durability. I forgot to repark my trap, so I was actually going to make a ceiling zapper that had healing on it. But that's okay. Eventually. So we're going to just throw our zapper here. There we go. What? I must have missed one. There we go. And one sound wall back there. And that was a double reload, which we gotta find here. There we go. And one last upgrade. Alright, so we'll go into our tunnel here. Two wooden floor spikes up front, the blue ones. Double reload sound wall and a single reload sound wall. Double reload again and a wall dynamo. Nothing on the ceiling here. Just so sound wall does its thing. And then a wall dart with the double reload and two dura, I think, and crit rating. Yes, same one as yesterday. And then some wall dynamos here. Then we go one, down to the bottom of this ramp. We have a freeze trap. Some more wall dynamos. Some wooden floor spikes across here. We're probably going to change that. But now, as for what I forgot yesterday in the home base, was this side. So, I had this tunnel before where they came in like this and just came around this way and went on this way. And they carried on this way back down to our amplifier right here. Now. Lobbers and Flingers decided, hey, I'm going to go this way. And they came all the way back here, and they came over to here, and I, I don't remember if it was straight in with my uh, Zapper Endurance or not, but that's kind of the pathing of it used, sort of. And uh, instead of um, them pathing 
down and through that tunnel, they would come over to here somewhere and beat on one of these tiles. And I think it was actually this one, somewhere around this area, and they'd break through it. And next thing you know, they're out here, which wasn't good. So they would break through right here on one of these tiles and come out. So they might still do that, but there's definitely enough damage in here to take care of them. Using ceiling zappers, it was there a one target trap. So, yes, there's a little bit of a delay in them. So we changed it. So I just split this tunnel. All the husks for B will go this way. And if anything wants to try and go this way for the home base, they can. They're not going to make it, but they can try. And I just trapped it out just in case. Playing war games, you know, etc., etc. You have higher level husks in here. So this is kind of, I don't know, I built my builds really sturdy just to make sure that they're going to work if somebody else wants to use them. Really? Huh. I'm like I'm missing a trap. We'll put a wall dynamo there. I just put double crit rating, double crit damage, healing. And of course, yeah, so if they want it to go this way, they can. Now, if you think they're going to break through this wall, you could just remove it and remove all that back there if you wanted. But I think we're going to leave this for now. I'm going to test it and see how it works. It seems to be okay. If you want to do what I did yesterday and uh, remove these wooden floor spikes, you can go ahead and do so. Put some freeze traps down here. Just make sure you're standing this way for this one, this way for this one when you place it, and this way for this one when you place it. And you could maybe remove this floor freeze trap with a tire pit. And you could probably come down over here and remove this this one, I guess. Yeah, remove this floor trap and put a tire pit here as well. Might not be a bad idea. You might even be able to put a tire pit here and just two freeze traps here. It's entirely up to you. You can mix and match. I made enough uh, tunnel length that you shouldn't have to worry too much about exact same traps as I have. You should be able to use lower ones and stuff, I hope. And then, of course, they're just going to come down here. And our amplifier is right here, behind all these nicely trapped out walls. Right here. And, of course, if they decide they want to make it this far, like a smasher or something, and he wants to go this way, which they probably won't, but in case they do, I put some traps here. And a wall dart back there, some wall darts here, and here. And all the way around here just make sure that the husks actually if anything does get through here which may happen sometimes that there is traps here to take care of them and I did it all the way around a couple of walls I didn't because I don't think you need them that all the way around but I put them there I had the structures so that's what I did and our amplifier is fully covered boxed in all the way around and five anti-air turrets, one on each floor, all the way around. Now block off for here is actually pretty easy. There's not really a lot. So our little box is there with that ramp, and our tunnel comes straight down here, splits off this way, and splits off this way. So we just have one square here of block off. No uh, edited floor underneath or anything. And when I did do my stealing, ceiling zapper endurance, the uh, smashers came into here, came over here, and decided they wanted to try to go through this wall. And that wall. It was mostly this wall they tried breaking through, and then they'd go through all this to our amplifier. I guess they didn't really feel like walking all that way. They are being lazy. So they wanted to come through here. So I was always told that these tacos or Doritos or whatever you call these things it's just a cone with two sides up two sides down that they don't like them husks will walk under them yes like if you put one in one of your tunnels the husks can actually walk right under there keep going but I was told smashers don't like them so I tried and decided to put a couple here some walls behind walls across uh, cone here cone here an empty tile here because you don't really need any cones there 
same as the concept over there just to save one structure because it's not going to do anything and of course no connections to our amplifier anywhere we have all corner touches so that does not consider the uh, connection all the way around nothing here nothing here corner connection here and back to here so if you would like to see our block off a little bit better right here ah there we go we brought the right hero today and of course over here there is one and the two underneath here with the wall darts that you saw from inside the tunnel and this is for the home base side only and this is for B so we'll go over the other side of B now so now they can come out over here so we got one tunnel that comes in on that side and one tunnel that comes in over here because you get quite the uh, widespread on the spawn out there husks will go one way or the other so we'll go out through here I won't really describe it too much till I get out front And that is kind of more for this tunnel. I should have went this way, sorry. Here we go. So they'll go this way. There's the amplifier. They come up this ramp, turn the corner, up this ramp, and this way. And this is a double tunnel for D as well down there. So this works for both amplifiers, B and D. Because I do not have this one placed. And I do not have the far one down in the mine, way over there to the south, or west, sorry, placed. And like I showed you in my update video, this is for smashers here. It's basically the only thing that wants to pass through here is the smashers. So we have a wooden floor spike with healing. Floor freeze trap, I believe two impact, two reload, and dura. Yes, and this one as well, I believe. Let me just look it up here. Should be this one. Yep. Yep, that'll be the one. Two impact, two reload, and durability. And then, of course, your double crit uh, wall dynamo wall dart. And wall dynamo wall dart back there with reloads so instead of the double crit it will be they'll both be the same rolls so one will be this roll crit rating crit damage damage reload and heals or durability I put heals because there's smashers in the area and they might hit them and then this would be the other side just for some different reload between the two this is 12 seconds the other ones that I just showed you there with the reload were eight and a half. So that way, both these traps reload at different times, just for a little extra damage in here, if something decides it wants to stand here for a few seconds. And same back in here. Different wall dart, or uh, wall dynamo, sorry, on each wall. One with reload, one without. Just to stagger their reload times. Makes, them, makes the uptime on them a little bit better as opposed to each one reloading at the same time. And a wall dart and a ceiling zapper. And a ceiling zapper out here. I put one above here in case they do decide to smash through these tiles. Extra building health. And I do believe extra building health here. Oh no, just healing, sorry. But extra building health on this wall. Smashers like seem to get stuck right on this corner when I didn't have all of this So I was thinking that they might want to come in through this wall just but it seems like they all walk into here now and one edited floor piece Short wall I don't have anything on the back you could put a dynamo here if you wanted I Put a dynamo on the back side of this wall dart and then extra building health on this one and uh, That one's just got heals that's kind of a mix and match of traps all over the place. So now we get hotspots over here. And you, you saw on my hotspot video there, the Stonewood hotspot fun. <laughs> and update number 
two or three. It's a couple of videos old, anyhow. What I changed in here, I showed you what was going on with all the hotspots roaming around everywhere, and we went and built accordingly. So we just have a whole bunch of wall darts in here, lots of ceiling zappers, and our tunnel here. Some wall dynamos, freeze traps, more wall dynamos, tar pit, darts, more darts, zappers, lots of damage. And then they're going to come down here, round the corner, and come down here. Now I've got a ceiling zapper and a wall dynamo here, just in case they think they can come like this and get in here. That may happen. And a, and a wall dart there, which I don't actually know if that works. Oh, pardon me, excuse me. Sorry, I had to sneeze. And then some more tar pits and uh, wall dynamos. Wall dart wherever you need some range. In case they do want to walk down here, then the wall dart can get them. Even if they're over here, three tiles away. Because the wall dart will trigger from three tiles away. And there's our amplifier. Okay. And of course we have this all blocked off here. Now, I can't get in here to show you. I actually built this and locked myself in, trapped myself in the box from the inside and then exited my storm shield so I could get out. <laughs> but it is right here. So as you can see, we have box number one, which is built front. Box number two, which is right here, which will be the first one. Because there's our wall up there, right? So this box will be this box. But, for safety's sake, just in case they decided they wanted to get through that wall dart in there, some smasher charges or something, and actually gets through there, then I trap this tile out as well. There's the ceiling zapper, some wall dynamos in here, and extra building health on the back side, extra building health on this one, on this side. This one as well has extra building health, and this one as well. Just because smashers were coming in this area, so I thought I'd give them about as much deterrent as I possibly could. Got an edited floor here, and here, and beyond these edited floors, of course, down under our feet here, we have this ugly looking nasty terrain. And you can see here, of course, here is our inside of our box. I guess I could have got out of there, but oh, well, not if I was above the cone. So, our wall spike, wall dynamo, and I believe a wall dynamo in the back. Nope, nothing on the back wall. You could put an extra dynamo there if you wanted. Put that back the way it was. All right, and then of course some walls here. I don't have any traps on them or nothing. Not really needed. Smashers weren't making their way in here, so that was good. So that's the uh, unnatural terrain here and this ramp. A little more here, some walls. Got to have block off behind here, like this. Make sure you stuff quite a bit back here, and they won't come this way. Uh, that stuff up front there does take care of the smashers. If you have to, the uh, second floor freeze trap in there, the one farthest against the this side or whatever, towards us, you could change to a tar pit for some safety, just for a little reassurance. And then just a little bit of block off over here as well. This one's probably not needed. This one isn't, because they're going to smash through those walls and jump down there, so we don't really need a cone in here and it should be good and this this wall goes all the way across meets up with our spots over here so I think that's about it hopefully I went over everything here for you and like I said earlier I used to have 
floors across here, and I didn't have these pieces, but that didn't prevent our flinger from throwing from right there. So let me just put these up here. Three tiles wide. Starts at this corner of this and goes three tiles across. Which is one tile past the edge because this is only two tiles wide. But considering our amplifier is actually over there, if this one was not here, they can still see the light. So that's why I had to put another row there so they can't see that because they would still throw from here. They probably would end up hitting that one maybe or just throwing past it, but that has to be there. And this does go all the way down from this corner here. So here's our corner. And then we just brought it one tile back from the home base. Two tiles in front of there. And our straight wall all the way down. Now I don't think that has to be there. And of course it goes all the way down. We'll go through this one here next. I may just include this side with south, because there's really not that much here. I already went through some of it in this video. So, so here's a look at our block off from the top here. Now some of these are different than others. Seem to not have any problems, so that's a good thing. Oh yeah, it's all trapped out in case husks get in here. In case they want to break this floor on you. And come through into here somehow. They're going to get trapped out. I know this wall dart here and that wall dart there aren't that important. These ones kind of are. But those two aren't because the husks aren't actually going to walk through here, walk over here, and then walk back. If they do do anything, they're going to walk over here and try and beat through this floor. And that wall, of course, but hopefully there's enough layering here that they'll want to path out here. That wall dart has to be there. You can't put it here. On here, because there's a, a hot spot right here, right at the top of this ramp. That will smash anything that is here, down there, down there, down there, up here, sorry. Anything in that area. Anything here. These four floors will all get taken out by this hot spot. Same with a wall here, wall there, and wall there, of course, will all get broken. So this is about as much as you can build in here to safely evade the uh, hot spots. Of course, this is for D. All right. I do believe that is uh, our entire tunnel. Now, you may ask yourself why husks don't come up here and throw, and I can't answer that. <laughs> I've never seen a husk come up here and throw, so they must... Uh, Maybe they can't see it from there, I don't know, because it's lower. Well, it's like one tile lower than there, so maybe that affects their throwing distance. But if you ever do notice that, just make sure to let me know if you ever see husks throwing from up here, because I never have. Alright. I'll go have one more look here at the top. Get you a nice sky view. Whoa! Yeah, whoa is right. That's a lot of building. It's pretty intimidating. But once you start building it, it's not that bad. It's 
Oh well, man, this will be the build. Sorry for the longer video today. This is just was quite a bit to cover, and I hopefully got everything covered here. Well, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Have a good day.